Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to install the Frigidaire dishwasher side mount kit. It's only going to take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instructions, the mounting screws, the hole plugs, and the brackets. The side mount kit is used to secure the dishwasher to the side of the cabinets when you're unable to use the top mounts. To see which hole you're going to have to use to secure the dishwasher, we have to place the bracket onto the dishwasher. We're going to remove this Torque 25 screw right here. In the instructions, they give you a quarter inch screw to put in here to hold the bracket, but on this model with the Torque 25 screw already being in there, that screw is a little bit too small. So on some models you may use it, on some you may have to just reuse this one. What we want to do is tighten the bracket down. And then there's three holes that we can use to mount the dishwasher. This one, the middle one, and the short one. If we end up having to use the short one, we're going to have to drill a hole in the tub, and we'll show you how to do that. If you have to use one of these shorter ones, all you have to do is screw it in, and break off this tab if you're not going to use this hole. Now we're going to push the dishwasher back in and open up the door so we can see which screw hole we're going to have to use. All right, now we can see the bracket lining up with the cabinet and which hole we'll have to use. If yours is this front hole, all you have to do is put the screw in and you're done. If you're on this hole, then you're going to have to pull it out and break this end of the bracket off and then you can screw the screw in to attach it to the cabinet. If your dishwasher lines up like this and you can't see any of the cabinet, then we're going to have to break off both of these holes and drill a hole in the tub right here and use that to put the screw through. Now that we know what mounting hole we have to use, we can pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet. We're going to break off this extra metal right here. We're just going to take a couple pliers and bend it off. Now we can use our Torque 25 driver to remove the screw on this side. Now that we have this bracket broken to the right length, we can put it on the dishwasher. Now that we have the brackets on both sides of the dishwasher, we can push it back into the cabinet and use the Phillips screws that they gave us in the kit to attach it to the cabinet. If you notice, we pre-drilled our screw holes to avoid splitting the wood as we put the screws in. Now that we have the left side in, we can put the right side in. Now that you have this screw tightened down, we can close the dishwasher door. If you've determined that you can't use either of these, we're actually going to have to drill a hole in the tub. So what we want to do is take a sharpie and mark this hole so we know where the center is. And then we have to take the bracket off because we have to break it off right here on its break off mark. So we're going to take our Torque 25 screwdriver and take it off so we can break it off. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Mark the center of the hole and then use our Torque 25 driver to pull the bracket off so we can break it off to the right length. The break off point for the short mounting hole is right here in the bend so we're going to use a couple pliers to grab it and break it in half. Once you have this one done, we can do it to the other bracket. If your model number tag is in the area where you're going to drill the hole, you want to make sure that you take a blow dryer and heat it up so you release the glue so you can peel the label off and stick it down a little bit lower. If you have to put some more rubber cement on it or something, you can, but you don't want to lose this tag because if you don't have the model number, you're going to have a hard time ordering parts. All right, now we have to drill our 3 8 inch hole into the plastic tub, so we're going to take our drill and very slowly drill through the plastic. You want to put your hand completely underneath the, the hole. Obviously you don't want to drill into your finger. 
but you want to make sure that you hold the plastic as you drill through and drill it through very slowly. Don't force it, just let the drill cut slowly. Now the way of this side done, we can do the other side. Take a razor blade and clear out the edges of the holes to make sure they're nice and smooth. Now we can put the brackets back on and get ready to mount it to the cabinet. Now we can push the dishwasher back in and put the screws in. Once you have the dishwasher exactly where you want it and you're sure you're ready to put the screws in, you want to take a small drill and pre-drill the holes that are going to go through the cabinet so when you put the screw in, it doesn't damage the wood. Now that you have the holes pre-drilled, we can put in the screws that came with the kit to attach it to the cabinet. Now we can put the Phillips screw in on the other side. Now that we have both screws in, we can put in the caps that match the dishwasher color to cover up these holes. You want to make sure you push them in so they're nice and flush. Once you have that side in, we can do the other side. Now that we have the plugs installed, like the instructions say, you can run a cycle and check for leaks. So we can close the door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.